Hey, this is Moot Booksley, and today I'm going to talk about the Synthesizers.com Q174 MIDI interface and the Q175 MIDI interface aid modules. I have a confession to make. I was not a huge fan of the original Q104 MIDI interface from Synthesizers.com. Um, it was a very basic module. It only worked on one MIDI channel. It was just very basic. I mean, you had like, you know, your standard CV and gate and velocity outputs and it had a trigger output. And that's really all the features it had. Like there was really no um, advanced anything to it. And I just found that it didn't do uh, a lot of the things that I needed it to do. That prompted me to buy a box like this, the uh, Kenton Pro 2000. And uh, this thing, has a lot of features. I am happy to say that I have replaced the Kenton with uh, the Q174 MIDI interface. The Q175 is an aid module, but I really recommend getting the pair together if you're thinking about buying a MIDI interface module. If you have the cabinet space and the budget space, I really recommend to get both. For one thing, they already pre-wire it and put it together as a pair for you and it's kind of a lot of wires to connect. I'm not going to ramble anymore. Let's just take a look at the thing. So what do we have here in the Q174 MIDI interface? Well, as you can see right here in the top, you've basically got everything that you had in the Q104 in one tiny little section, MIDI input, pitch and gate outputs, and a velocity output. Um, also we have this add in which will add, uh, it will sum whatever uh, is put in there, whatever voltage, to the pitch output, which is really useful for doing stuff like uh, vibrato and all kind of stuff like that. Now here we have this multifunction section, and these three jacks work in three different modes. In mode one, you get a pressure output, which is uh, aftertouch. Uh, you get off velocity, which is node off velocity, which is very rare to find. And you get your trigger output. In mode 2, you get a whole second MIDI interface, basically, which transmits on the next uh, MIDI channel. So this is very useful if you want to do duophonic things or basically split your synthesizer into two different uh, units. You got a second pitch, gate, and velocity output on these three jacks. In mode three, you get some MIDI CCs. You get MIDI CC1, which is a mod wheel, CC7, which is a volume, I believe, and CC4, which I don't remember what that is. This is great. This is something that I really wish the Q104 had had, but now you have it in the Q174. You have gate. Uh, trigger. So now you can have single trigger, which is like a mini Moog style response. You have multiple trigger, which triggers on every uh, note on. And now you have this plus R, which is, means plus release, which is really fun. You can get all this like ARP Odyssey type of effects where uh, you get a trigger on note on and note off. Finally, you have uh, priority, last note, low note, and high note. The Q175 adds these features. You get a MIDI merge input, which merges whatever signal uh, with this one. If you wanted to use a different keyboard for your second MIDI channel, um, it's got a MIDI through, which will send the input, whatever's coming in the input, into the next MIDI device in your system. And finally, the wonderful arpeggiator, which I really love. The arpeggiator allows me to get analog sequencer kind of uh, experience, but with all of the improvisation and exploration of, of notes and things that I like to do. Uh, so it's kind of the best of both worlds for me. Having it built right into my modular synth is a dream come true, really. It's amazing. And uh, we have uh, Portamento, which this is a digital Portamento. It's um, very convenient. You've got linear, which is mini Moog style, and exponential, which is basically everything else. I don't know too many other things that have linear portamento, but this is wonderful. All right, so I've got it in like a standard mini Moog type setup here. Uh, single trigger, low note priority, linear portamento.
Okay. Here's multiple trigger, which works really well with uh, fast stuff. If I put it on last note priority, you really get the most use out of that. Okay. High note priority, you get this right here. The uh, plus R thing is pretty interesting. I'm going to put this back on last for now. Notice I get a gate on note on and off. like a monophonic odyssey in a way because <laughs> sometimes you get that weird response like that and so here's the way I normally like to play it is a uh, single and last and of course here's exponential portamento <laughs> I'm going to do a whole video on just portamento one of these days linear versus exponential so uh, stay tuned for that Let's talk about the arpeggiator. Okay, here's a fun thing to do with the external clock in. I'm going to, uh, let me disconnect this. I'm going to run a, a pulse from one of my oscillators to this clock input. I'm gonna put it in low mode and I'm going to take it out of the signal path.
Watch what happens. The oscillator is tracking pitch um, from the keyboard. It is going to give me different rhythmic subdivisions as I go up. take my whole forearm and put it on there like this. Woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-